Hi and welcome to the Market Alert for Monday the 21st of December 2020. So silver soars, Bitcoin roars, stocks snore as Covid relief uh, rancor continues. A very mixed week which uh, we know uh, about that into quad witch, that's the quad quadruple witching uh, with small caps soaring and S&P Dow snoring until the last few minutes of the week when prices moved higher and that's because we know they've been sideways for the last couple of weeks. Uh, with the implied volatility dropping, which we'll look at uh, in a bit later in the market alert. Okay, let's start off by looking at what's currently going on overnight and what to expect today. And then there's part two in this video where I go into more detailed analysis of the Fib retracements and uh, the volume bars, etc. in part two. So let's have a look and uh, see what's uh, going on. Obviously, straight away, we can see that uh, prices have dropped overnight in the daily chart. Uh, we've got a bit of selling in the daily chart as well. You can see the volume is greater than the previous day's uh, volume there and the range is narrow than uh, Thursday's price bar as well. So the daily chart already indicating this. We can also see that prices are below the five bar moving average. We have the 20 bar below. So what we need to do here is to actually uh, grab the fib retracement tool from this low to this high. Let's draw in some fibs, see where the market is likely to trade down to and we can see already the markets bounced off the 38 percent retracement there so draw this on your chart or take a note take a screenshot of where these levels uh, can be used it doesn't mean say the market's going to move lower because of course they want to to get back to those uh, all-time highs uh, beforehand so they'll do anything they can to try and bring the market back and this week is the ideal time but of course, with all of the tier four in the UK and uh, the pressures mounting with uh, other countries uh, not allowing anybody to fly to the UK because of this uh, so-called mutant strain, uh, which is bizarre that we're the only country in the world that has it. But uh, let's not get down that route. Um, then we're going to see uh, the weakness uh, continue. Uh, that's for sure. Certainly in the new year. Because the implied volatility is already pointing in this direction. I mean, you can see there we've we dropped on uh, Friday down to 18.81. We had 18.11 uh, prior to the previous uh, correction that we saw in the market. If you have a look here, you can see where it's dropped. And then we've had these other corrections. So we are due a correction. There's no doubt about that. And as we go into the new year with Biden and uh, further lockdowns I've already seen that uh, the next tier 4 one is going to last two months uh, and that'll be a joke as well because furlough is till April so that means it's May before the pubs open because that's the industry that's mainly being paid at the moment by the government so we can see where this is going uh, so yeah again in the coloured version as well we've got uh, the uh, implied volatility moving lower there as well so let's have a look in a bit more detail see where we are in uh, the two minute chart overnight uh, that's the daily so uh, some unknown reason that's not working properly let's uh, grab this one that's sort of better so yeah the two minute chart so we can see that uh, prices uh, gapped lower and uh, then managed to trade back up to the 200 ma and then for whatever reason the market uh, went straight through the low uh, which you know from looking at the market alert uh, is very important. You see how it was support here and uh, that's uh, on Friday and then straight through this and then straight down to the S1 where the market has traded sideways and then as we just look now the market's just dropped 50 points so maybe we're not going to get the rally uh, immediately to the all-time high which would be a shame because I was hoping to shorten hold a position at that level uh, because there's nothing, there's no good news to hold the markets on the highs. Not said, of course, uh, all you need is uh, the Fed to come out and say they're going to print another two trillion and the jobs are good. And, but I did notice also on the news that a 900 billion deal with McConnell and Pelosi has been done as well. So there's another 900 billion to be added. And that really hasn't brought the market back either. So it's what's really going to be interesting is that uh, during the uh, festivities, the US markets will be open. The UK tends to have two weeks off. So during that time, you get a bit of a major correction going on but at the moment uh, the DAX are certainly correcting there so let's have a look at uh, a couple of other things as well the uh, silver market also uh, 
moving to the upside so just grab the weekly chart of silver here bring it in uh, you'll see that uh, breaking out to the upside uh, moving strongly back towards uh, the high that we saw in uh, June where we nearly hit $30 per ounce as well I'm still looking to add more to this after the cock up I made uh, last week which just not come back since I uh, got stopped out of it which is bloody annoying but there you go uh, it is what it is um, yeah so plenty of opportunity still but it's nice to see that this has uh, broken out of this sideways move but blasted through uh, in uh, the overnight market so you tend to get a pullback off this type of activity in uh, silver and then uh, finally let's have a quick look at uh, the news uh, today we've got absolutely no news the market's gonna have to make it its own direction as well so what have we got for the rest of the week well probably not a lot there you go that's what we've got so the market no economic news this week the market's going to be driven by covid news simple as that and the potential for uh, this uh, mutation to be in other countries no doubt you can see what the wef uh, deal is here and what the agenda is and uh, how it's uh, going to pan out it's going to be grim so uh, brace yourself it's uh, going to be uh, not the most pleasant winter that uh, you've experienced which is probably why the ruling elite are calling it the dark winter anyway on a lighter note let's see what uh, the market does uh, today and uh, how this will uh, pan out going forward We're nearly down to the s3 actually in the in the intraday there on the DAX. So the S3 generally you find support and if it does break through it will uh, eventually make its way back as well. So maybe not a lot left on the downside which would take us into the 50% retracement area there as well which uh, you can see in the daily chart. So I'll be keeping an eye on the daily chart and the intraday uh, to see where things uh, move with regards to this and also keep an eye on the Dow as well. Okay, that will do it uh, for part one. That's a quick uh, roundup of where we are, what to expect. In part two, we'll have a look at uh, the detail of Friday's trading session. We'll look at the fibs as well. Uh, Friday, we see uh, the market uh, moving lower to begin with. We get a double bottom and then prices moving higher. So let's have a look at this detail and see if we can get any information in, inside of this to tell us that the market wasn't going to go down and intended to move to the upside. We already know that the implied volatility was low. We also know that the market was gunning for the all-time highs, which I'd spoken about in numerous uh, market alerts uh, before Friday. And also in this one, that's where we're heading in the near term. So let's have a, a look, see where we are. So the market opened. Uh, it was erratic, to say the least, uh, below the DP with prices uh, sideways, trying to find a direction. We then see the selling, we get a sell signal there, which is filled. Now over on the left here, we have some support. This is where the market came back, uh, 25 points up to the BRN and just below the DP level. We've got some selling here, we always do at the start. You can see the entry filled there. So the question for me was, where is this entry price in relation to uh, this current move? Where are we looking at? So. If I just uh, draw this on, you will see that uh, we've got a, let me just go back here and there we go. So what I've done is scroll back, found the low, found the high, and I can see that we're at 78% of this uh, high. So 78% tells me that we're likely to find support. And that's precisely what uh, we're seeing there. See that coming into the market prices moving back above the 200 MA. And uh, what I've done, if I just go back and rush through this, let me just do this for you. So what I've done now is actually uh, draw from this high to this low just to see what strength the market's got as it heads back to the 200 MA, the DP and the BRN. So prices uh, once again move higher and I'm just removing the fibs as it does. Trades up to the 89%. I'm looking at the daily chart actually the weekly chart in this case, to see where that all-time high is and see how the market is uh, heading to that level. And then we get a potential buy signal, but then we get a straight reversal at the 89% uh, FIB, which you'll see in just a moment, comes down. And then we've got the selling confirmed there. And what I've done now is drawing some 
fib retracements from uh, this low to this high just to see if we can get back anywhere near the entry price to actually close out this trade because the market's sideways it's not doing a lot we then see prices reverse off the 62 percent and again i've just removed the surplus fibs and then prices start to trade sideways the volume starts to drop off but then we have another shakeout to the downside straight through 50 62 78 down to 89 through there and then back to the entry price however at this point i hadn't actually uh, got out of the trade as uh, the market then uh, put in a reversal and i was thinking well okay let's see where the strength is back on the upside maybe we need to come back a bit and then go uh, forgetting my own advice that uh, the market is long in the daily the weekly the monthly and in the intraday four hour charts as well so the market uh, already given me the opportunity to uh, get out at uh, the entry price but uh, i didn't and then the market uh, reversed and it started to reverse uh, strongly so uh, it's a case of get out and then you can see there the market going straight up to the dp and that was the last time the market saw this low and then continue to the upside trading up to the close now in this bar here you can see that the volume is greater than the preceding bar and the range is also narrower so we've got some selling pressure in this bar at the close which is no surprise so the market needs to breathe a bit we get a further potential weakness and then in order to get through here we need to see some more buying coming into the market but at the moment you can see that we've still got some sort of selling in this area which is being absorbed how do I know it's being absorbed well if it was uh, an increase in volume like that and prices haven't moved lower then uh, they must be absorbing the sell orders that are coming into the market so prices come back down have a look at the five bar moving average the five bar is the one that I use to measure the market's momentum prices reverse off this and again we see that increase in uh, volume but price is holding and then eventually we'll see them close above the closing price uh, not the increase we're looking for but it doesn't matter if they've absorbed the selling then uh, they can just trade sideways and you can again you can see how it bounces off the five bar moving average then the close and i'm drawing fibs in on the downside just in case the market uh, did correct just to see where it would pull back to but on this occasion it uh, failed to do this and then prices uh, eventually keep taking out the highs to the left i can draw these in back through the five bar and again what i've done here is uh, drawing the fib retracements here just to see if there's any support at the close which is also uh, um, 50 percent and 62 as well the main fibs that uh, prices pull back to again prices go above the five bar and then through the recent high up to the next brn with increased volume this is an interesting bar because again you've got a lot of volume but the market's making no progress it's the same as the previous bar whereas the previous bar put on 15 points this one can barely move so again they must be absorbing the selling coming into the market and once again prices uh, show further potential weakness and i've drawn the fibs in from uh, this low to this high which i'll cancel now because the market's put in a new high and uh, there we see some more selling coming into the market so we've got this potential weakness around here the market's struggling again you can see this here so what i've done is just measure from here to here see where we've got any support should prices come back we've also got the news as well so prices uh, trade sideways waiting for the news and then uh, we'll see this uh, come out in just a second i'm just going to fast forward through this and you'll see it came out uh, positive we've gone too far now there we go so you can see the news was positive and then it's a back to the chart to have a look see what's going on and see uh, there's uh, quite a bit of volume in this bar but it's uh, closed off the low and now it's trading back above the five bar moving average and then i'm using this high to this low to measure these fibs back to the upside just to see uh, how much momentum the market's got on the upside there so i know the support down in this level we've got the 50 percent uh, here as well where we saw prices come off the uh, the low and then get back above the five bar moving average in the following bar so prices drive and then they drive all the way up to the r1 
and uh, what I'm this black line here is taken from the daily chart it's the all-time high I wanted to see if the market was uh, going to uh, continue to move up to this level but uh, prices uh, failed to do this and then we see them drifting lower and again you'll see selling coming into the market there and then the market makes its way through these uh, fibs the market's moved up over 100 points it's a good move for the Dow sorry the Dow the DAX uh, from the start of the session which you can see here having moved just over 100 points it's a good move it's got to breathe and uh, you'll see it uh, coming back there trading back to the 78 percent finding a bit of support so you can see the support here this is where it kicks in you can see the volume in this bar is greater than uh, the previous bar and the range is narrower so there's a bit of buying support there at the 78 percent retracement from this high to uh, the low to the left so prices uh, become range bound as we head into the um, end of the morning session again you can see there we're now closed back below the 20 bar moving average you can see them trying to buy back in here there's some profit taking and then we get down to the 78 and the uh, brn here and prices uh, again find a bit of support but uh, this soon disappears and then prices uh, trade on back to the brn and then down towards the 89 percent level and again look at the increase in volume here at this uh, at this uh, fib retracement uh, level so the, the pros know these levels are there and then you'll see them uh, move the market back to the upside uh, following these uh, important levels so the afternoon was uh, slightly different so we'll just go here and drag this across uh, i was only at the desk uh, for five minutes and uh, had to go out uh, but we can see the market moving sharply lower there and the reason for this was um, very very simple uh, the futures hit the all-time highs in the uh, pre-market session this is the Dow i'm talking about now and the s p not even the witches uh, can stop this juggernaut as it moves to the upside however later on stock slammed at cash open as quad which weighs on sentiment so the expiration and uh, liquidation of the futures the indices the stock options and the uh, options on the indices uh, creating uh, pressure so uh, the market then moved to the downside which is what you can see there and then eventually broke uh, the dp market uh, moved lower and then by the end of the session you see them trying to bring prices back which is what they did in the dow as well so prices being moved uh, back to the upside there okay that will do it for this one like i say there's no economic news this week the market's going to make its own direction and uh, is going to be driven by uh, covid news there's no doubts about that obviously related to the economy shutting it down how long it's going to be shut down for and restrictions etc etc okay that will do it uh, as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one